With seven decades as an iconic leader, Her Majesty has a brief connection to South Florida, a memorable visit 31 years ago. WPTV's Matt Sesney is live in West Palm Beach tonight with that part of our story. Yeah, Jay, it's uh, kind of strange to say way back in 1991, but that was actually the year Queen Elizabeth did come to pay a visit to Florida. She made stops in Miami, Tampa, and the Florida Keys. Now, this visit to the Keys was especially memorable for those back then. The Royal Yacht sailing down to the Dry Tortugas, where she met several people at Fort Jefferson, which is still there. These are some of the photos of that visit back then. I talked today with the now retired Bill Becker. He was the news director at US One Radio News in the Keys, who told me about what a big deal it was to have the Queen visit. This was a big thing back then. The Queen visiting Florida, I believe, for the first time. And uh, basically, she stopped in Miami. The Royal Yacht uh, went, went there. And then uh, the, the weekend came, and she took the Royal Yacht. Uh, they, 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 uh, sailed down to the Dry Tortugas. They basically bypassed most of the Keys where people live and went to the Dry Tortugas, which is about 80 miles to the west of Key West. Pretty remote out there. Bill still lives in the Florida Keys. He says back then it was a pretty short visit for the Queen in the Keys, but he did say the Queen was given a gift when she stopped there, a conch shell. As we all know, the official symbol of the Florida Keys, which she took back with her to England. We're live in West Palm Beach. Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.